In this video, I'm going to give you five reasons to avoid variable annuities in retirement. Let's get started. Hey there folks, I'm Patrick King with Prana Wealth. On this channel, we cover the strategies, tactics, and mindset shifts that help you build wealth faster so that you can make work optional sooner. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Variable annuities are the total gem of investments. They promise a quick, easy, all-in-one solution wrapped in an irresistible sales pitch. Fun and easy weight loss in six to eight minutes per day? How can you say no to Chuck Norris and Christy Brinkley? In the end, you're out your four simple payments of $2.99. You still need to lose 10 pounds, and the only thing that the total gym does is sit around collecting dust. Over the years, I've met with lots of people who needed help figuring out what to do with the variable annuities that they purchased in the past. In almost every case, these investment products have failed to live up to the original sales pitch. I'm sick of dealing with these things. So today, I wanna to give you five reasons why you should avoid variable annuities for retirement. Please note, if you own a variable annuity or a total gem, don't feel ashamed. Millions of people have purchased these confusing but wonderful sounding products, so you're in good company. Stay tuned for my next video about the four ways to get out of a variable annuity. So why use variable annuities for retirement in the first place? Simply put, an annuity is an insurance product that turns a lump sum of money into a cash flow stream. That cash flow stream may start immediately, which is an immediate annuity, or sometime in the future, which is a deferred annuity. It's essentially a pension that you can buy. Sounds good, right? Here are five reasons to avoid buying a variable annuity for retirement. Number one, when you buy a variable annuity, you're stuck. Almost all variable annuities have surrender charges, fees you must pay if you withdraw your money from the policy. These fees start off prohibitively high during year one and gradually taper off over time. How high are the fees and how long do they apply? Surrender charges can be as high as 10%. That's $50,000 on a $500,000 investment and take as long as 10 years before they go away. 10 years is a long time to be stuck in a bad relationship. So why are the surrender fees so darn high? It's because most annuity products pay a handsome commission to the salesperson when he or she sells you the product. These commissions can range between 4% and 7% of the annuity value. If you decided to withdraw your money in year one, then the insurance company takes a big loss because of the commission paid to the agent, hence the surrender charges that keep you locked in. And just to rub salt into the wound, you are not allowed to use a 1035 exchange to move from an annuity to a life insurance policy even though you can move the other direction. At best, you can use a 1035 exchange to move from one annuity to a slightly less annoying one. Talk about till death do us part. Getting divorced might be cheaper and easier. If you're already in an, a variable annuity, be sure and check out my next video about how to get out of one. Number two, the fees are astronomical. Variable annuities are chalked to the gills with fees. All in, you can expect to pay between two and 4% per year in fees. For that half million dollar annuity, that equates to 10,000 to 20,000 per year. This does not include any potential surrender fees that you'd incur if you decided to take your ball and go home. In my opinion, variable annuities for retirement don't deliver enough value given how expensive they are. For a fraction of the cost, you can hire a fee-only financial planner to manage your investments, create a comprehensive financial plan, and to actually talk to you on a regular basis. Number three, guarantees cost extra. Guarantees are a big selling point for annuities. Unfortunately, almost all of the guarantees available in these products are a la carte and of course cost extra. 
there are only a few guarantees that come with all variable annuities. First, once you annuitize the contract and start receiving a series of regular payments, those payments are guaranteed by the insurance company. Next, a death benefit is provided to your heirs. The amount is the sum of the total premiums you've paid. Finally, most variable annuities will guarantee something called the benefit base. This is essentially a minimum amount that you can annuitize even if your investments have tanked. But best believe that your premiums pay for this feature too. Everything else needs a rider and costs extra. Get ready for that upsell. Number four, they're confusing as hell. Have you gotten this far without your mind wandering? With everything going on in these complex products, it's hard enough to simply judge whether these are good investments or not. Variable annuities are subject to similar withdrawal rules as IRAs and 401k plans, including a 10% penalty for early withdrawals under age 59 and a half. Don't forget that tax rules for annuities aren't straightforward either. As I mentioned before, the costs are so high that your investments need to perform well just to break even every year. And there's a non-zero probability that the person selling you the annuity doesn't fully understand the product. Like the Total Gym, variable annuities are the investments that try to be all things to all people. When does that ever work in real life? Number five, tax advantages don't apply to annuities inside IRAs. Variable annuities have some of the same tax advantages as certain retirement accounts, such as IRAs. Specifically, your investment growth is tax-free until you start withdrawing it. However, investors miss out on this benefit when they purchase an annuity inside an IRA, 401k, 403b, or any other tax-deferred retirement account. You can't double dip on tax deferral. It's the investment version of wearing a belt and suspenders at the same time. This is where annuity people will counter with guaranteed income. Sure, but as I mentioned earlier, those guarantees come at quite a cost to whomever buys the annuity. There are simpler and better ways to create retirement income. The only reason annuity guarantees exist is because you pay for them. With a little discipline, a reasonable investment strategy, and a dynamic retirement withdrawal plan, you can create your own lifetime income stream using cheaper and more flexible investments. Simply put, there are better options than variable annuities for retirement. For most retirees, the promise of guaranteed returns and limited downside risk ends up falling short in real life. A few years into the policy, the annuity owners notice that returns have lagged the market and they don't hear from their salesperson anymore. Just like the Total Gem, variable annuities fail to deliver on their promises. Please, please don't feel ashamed if you've bought a variable annuity. These are confusing products with a beguiling sales pitch. Millions of people have purchased them over the years. Be sure and check out my next video where I go over the four ways to get out of a variable annuity contract. If you still need help figuring out if a variable annuity is right for you, Visit PranaWealth.com to set up a quick complimentary introduction call to see if we're potentially a good fit for you. We do have capacity to take on new clients at this time. We're based in Atlanta, but we can and do work virtually with clients all across the US. We've helped plenty of clients avoid the variable annuity trap in the past, and we're ready to help you whenever you need it. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please help me grow my channel by liking this video and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.